Hey guys, what is up? Today we're gonna be doing a video on some tips and tricks of the iOS 7 beta. I'll be going through a few tips and tricks I've learned in the past that I've got from using this um, beta version. So let's get into this guys. So um, I've been using this for a few days now and so now let's get into this guys. So basically the first thing that I've noticed is that the clock here is like a dynamic icon. As you can see the seconds hand is moving and um, it'll move every minute so this is a very nice addition hopefully they'll add it to more applications so um, another thing is that when you go into the compass application um, a thing you can do is now there is a leveler so basically this shows you when it's level with the ground and which like left you get a compass and let's, let's move around see it's like a leveler so another cool thing in iOS 7 is the transition effects. They're very, very nice and very slick. So when I move down, you see it pops up the application. And another thing is look at the folders when it goes back. It goes very seamlessly and it feels like a good experience overall compared to other operating systems. So it's very nice, very clean, and it fades in effect from when you lock it. It's very nice touches overall to iOS 7. So that's one of the cool features. So another cool addition is that FaceTime has been added as a separate app on the iPhone. So let's get just to it. So let's just... And another cool thing is that there's also FaceTime audio now. So you can call by this call button here. This is FaceTime audio, so it's audio call. So it's a nice addition to the video calling. You get free VOIP calls. So overall a good touch to this side of things. And now another cool thing is that when you go into the phone... Um, phone settings you can see there's a new option called blocked this is basically allowing you to block numbers which you don't want calling you so you don't get spam or whatnot so it's a it's pretty nice additions to iOS so um, this is one of another cool features in iOS so many of you have probably noticed there's no more spotlight so basically spotlight is just swiping down and it'll bring up a nice search box to your um, springboard so there's no more swiping left the home because there won't be any screen see nothing so to swipe down let's just search something like camera it's kinda slow at first because it's a beta but um so search should be should come up now so let's press search see we get camera just like that into that so spotlight's easier to come across instead of having a nice uh, bad home screen there. So that's always a nice addition. Siri has also learned some new tips and tricks. Um, starting off, let's go um, and start with the things she's learned. Um, first of all, you can do system controls, which basically allow you to um, check the weather now. Well, that's always been there, but now you can do stuff like... Uh, just turn off Bluetooth, increase brightness, stuff like that make everything much more smoother for Siri. And it's also learned stuff like Wikipedia, you can always find tweets there, and much, much more. Um, now, it can be also voice room personal assistants, they can play new voicemails, you can see your return missed calls. Um, and all that cool stuff. So this has been an overall great improvement to Siri, and I like it. So um, and it's also got a nice user interface, as you can see. That it shows like a voice modeling thing, and then, and it, it looks very very slick. And also, there's a transparent background as usual because this is a flat, very flat user interface. So o overall, this has been a major overhaul to Siri since iOS 5, I think, which released with the iPhone 4s. Uh, that. And that's about it for Siri, guys. So this is all the functions Siri can do now. Also, you can search Wikipedia and Twitter. So that's always a nice touch. And that's it for Siri on iOS 7. Has there ever been times when you thought that this pesky newsstand app will never go away? Now the time is over. Well, the newsstand has been redesigned and become a flatter UI, but... 
We always never used it. So now we can put it in folders. How great is that? We put it in folders. We can move it to a new page now. Now it's gone forever into absolute oblivion. So this has been a great tweak that iOS 7 has added. Another nice addition they've added to iOS is that when you um, go and into the camera app and now when you swipe left to go recording, for the first time you can have, you can zoom while you're recording. See, I pinch, you can see that thing there. And now I'm zooming while I'm videoing it. So that, that's a very nice addition if you want them zoom clothes. And now another cool addition is let's just take a photo. And now after that, see how fast it is? That's one thing, that's a minor addition. But if we go to photos, then we go camera roll, click on the photo we just took. Um, let's go cancel, oops, sorry about that. And go edit. You can now choose filters. So you get the addition to apply filters to your photo. That, that's pretty awesome. I guess instead of getting a photography app, so that's about it for this. Is that now for the first time, on the lock screen, um, you can access Notification Center just like that. Also, another thing is that when you go to today, you get a Google Now type view, so that's pretty nice. And you can also access Control Center, and now you can also um, access your flashlight from there, compass, uh, clock, calculator, and camera. And now, wait, just I'll just show you that the flashlight actually turns on, and that's a uh, nice touch and nice gradient to the control center as well. Okay guys, um, this has been the end of my tips and trick videos for iOS 7, so um, please let me know what else you'd like for me to make a video on, and I'll be back to you as soon as possible, and I shall reply to your message obviously. And also, this has been a uh, tips and trick video, and thank you guys for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe. And I shall be back with more videos to come in the near future. So thank you guys for watching.